Okay, well, let's see here. I'm going to go and I'm going to go to our write up. And again, I put this already on the on the website, so you don't have to write anything. Um, <clears throat> the 19th Emirp. Emirp is a prime written in reverse order is also a prime. Okay. So the 19th such prime is 359. Okay. And then again, you can read chapter 3, verse 59, and see what it says. Okay. <clears throat> the emirp of 359 is 953, which is the index composite 1143, and 1143 is equal to 9 times 1 to 7. So immediately it will take you to chapter 9, having 127 verses. <clears throat> okay. Now, 359th Gaussian prime happens to be 5347. Now, as you see here, I have it in the next bullet, 359 happens to be an additive prime, which means that the sum, sum of the digits adds up to 19. So I put it here in parentheses, 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 19. So that 19 is a prime number, so this is called an additive prime. 359 is called an additive prime. I'm sorry, um, 5347 is called an additive prime. Okay, it happens to be the 359th one. So, <clears throat> 5347 is also uh, the 446 lonely prime, but 446 composite happens to be 543, I'm sorry, 548, and 548 additive prime happens to be 9127. Okay, and as you see, the digits of 9127 add up to 19, which is a prime number. So 9127 also happens to be an additive prime, and its index is 548. Okay. 548 composite is 670, and 670th verse in the uninitial surahs in the Quran is 9127. Okay, so can you imagine this? I mean, it, it it just is not God is not going to let you go. Okay. Aren't we hap happier and better off today that we know about this than the people who chose not to know about this? Okay. Just think about it. Five forty eight prime happens to be thirty nine forty seven. And you know the structure of thirty nine forty seven is very interesting to me at least. Okay? Because it's actually concatenation of two numbers, namely thirty nine and forty seven. Okay? And if you look at Surah thirty nine and forty seven, they actually bracket the seven Hamim initial chapters in the Quran. Forty through forty six. Okay? 39 as Zumur and 47 is called Muhammad. Okay, isn't that amazing? Okay, but anyway, so let's let's see what let's see what it does. Okay. Two seventy ninth Gaussian prime happens to be thirty nine forty seven. Note the last verse in the compiled version of the Quran. That's the Quran that we have that the first chapter is is uh, Al Fatiha and the last chapter is Al Nas. Okay, and so in the compiled version, the last verse, okay, is 114.6, is 279th verse revealed in the uninitial surahs. So you can verify that from, from our translation. Okay, I have those tabulated in there, so you can take a look at it. So let us see what 279 actually says. Okay, now we've been talking about the two false verses. Okay, now look at this. Therefore, woe to those who write this scripture with their hand and say this is from God to obtain a cheap material gain. Woe to them for what they wrote and woe to them for what they gained. Can you imagine that? Okay. So, you see, 
we know why God says this in 279. Because of this mathematical structure that it has. Okay? Because of this 548, which happens to be simultaneously the index of prime 3947, it also happens to be the index of additive prime 9127. So it practically tells you where they actually added two false verses. Okay. Is that amazing? Anyway, so again, you know, we have to we have to somehow discuss this internally with ourselves, okay? Today is a bigger universe, okay? And, you know, before I haven't looked, I didn't look at 5347 as a lonely prime, and its index happens to be 446. I didn't know this before until today or until yesterday, okay? So for that, I'm a better person. For that, I know why this is as such. Okay. Why? Because today, as I say, it's a bigger universe. There's more space and more matter in it. And God creates what we do not know. And for that, we are grateful to Him. That we are not looking at something which is repetitive. Okay. Every sound which is made is different from the sounds before. If you're listening, for example, to a river flowing, every sound which is made by those water molecules are different. They're not the same sounds. They're different sounds. Okay? And that's how God actually keeps us not getting bored to tears. Some, some people think that it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Open up your eyes, broaden your horizon, okay, and see what God has actually done for you. And accordingly, be grateful to Him for what He has done. Okay. So we are just at the beginning, my friends, okay? And it's yet to come. A lot of stuff is yet to come, inshallah. And God chooses the time and the place that God says in 2114, okay? And we cannot rush it. We cannot rush it, the revelation of the Quran. God is the one who does it. And there is a reason for it. When the time comes, and the place is right, then God reveals that, and that's the time. And accordingly, it would be actually making sense to us at that time. Before that, it would not make any sense. Okay. So again, we're grateful to Him, and we praise Him. Okay, and as I said, Make sure you're not blaspheming against it, okay? Uh, read chapter 16, 135, I'm sorry, uh, chapter 16, verse 35, carefully, okay? That God does not advocate evil. So when people are committing evil, it's not God's will, okay? That's their will. God is not the one who advocates evil. So, again, we have to be careful with these things, okay? These are, you know, these are very crucial things that go through life and, you know, and make sure we understand it. Okay. And, again, as I said, don't rush it, okay? And God says in chapter 16, verse 1, he says that God's command has already been issued, do not rush it, okay? We have to be patient, we have to persevere, 
accordingly what we are going to do. God says he is with those people who are patient. So God is with us, inshallah. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and we'll finish up. Shalom, Allah, Kabir.